Okay, on three. Three, four, two, two yep. Losses. But I think you should come and take a ride. See the world through my eyes. Every day is a surprise. So I party like my birthday. LA is my birthplace. First place, west side. Loud as I want to be. Welcome to the six. What's up, guys? So today's going to be... A fun way to start our episode is back to the jumping challenge. So uh, there's something Kyle's been looking at and he's gonna do it first try. Let's take a look. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like this, man. It's gonna jump from this death rock to this death rock. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, Kyle was supposed to do this, but I volunteered. Probably doesn't look as sketchy as it actually is up here. But uh, hashtag jump a day. This is a good way to jump into the work day. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> By uh, committing to something sketchy. You got it, buddy. Hey! I don't think that was as hype as it should have been. Yeah. All right, Kyle, you're up. Let's do it. Parkour, parkour. Round two. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty close, bro. Was it? <laughs> Sick! <sighs> Conquer your fears, man. That's a way to start a morning. That was fun. Now I'm ready to get some work done. Let's go. What up, guys? Grow Episode 5. We're going to start with the question I've been asked a ton. Is what stretching do you do and should you be stretching? This is something we get all the time. The truth is, our warm-ups, whether it be squat, dad, whatever, are very consistent. We don't do a ton, because it's not something I feel you necessarily need as a 40 minute warm up. I find I just, I walk to the gym to get about a 10 minute walk, and if not, you can just hop on a treadmill for about five minutes. Past that, usually with each exercise, a new muscle group will do a warm up set before a working set. So, like let's say I'm curling 40 pounds, I'll maybe start by curling 20 pounds for a set of eight, get the blood flowing, feel warm. And if I do another bicep exercise, I'll jump into my working weight because I'm already warmed up. You don't have to do this every time. Something like the squat or the dead you want to chip up to and work to that working progression area because that's some heavy weight. You can't just jump in from doing 45 pounds to 575 pounds. Past that though, when we're feeling really tight, stiff and sore, we're going to show you some of our favorite ballistic exercises that we do before and a couple of our personal favorite stretches that we do after. Okay, my top three. The all-time best you cannot beat is just the, the chest swing. Really, it just loosens up your back big time, loosens up your chest. Also really into rolling shrugs. I just, my whole thing is just getting loose, getting warm, getting blood pressure, especially with like my rotary ball and socket joint, my shoulder. I like doing a lot of rotation in my shoulder. So these three are definitely like my go-tos. I'll just spend a minute or so. You don't need to overdo it. Be there 20 minutes doing something like that. Static stretching before exercise has been scientifically very, it's very highly debated to say the least. But I personally believe there's no benefit to doing that before. It's actually counterintuitive to your training. Some people swear by it. Even foam rolling, there's a ton, a ton of controversy and the science hasn't really been affirmed. My belief in foam rolling is a side note, but I'll mention it anyways, that you should do it before bed, not before after exercise. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that more another time. But those are definitely my top three. Kyle will show you his top three ballistic exercises. All right, as you guys see me doing, this exercise is called the scorpion. It's really good for loosening up that lower back, especially for those of you who are always gonna be squatting, deadlifting, putting a lot of stress um, on your lower back. It's just really good to like loosen it up, um, gets me fired up. So for me, I like to focus on areas where I'm putting a lot of stress or I may feel some kind of pain from a previous workout. Um, this one is called the, I guess, hip rotation. So you keep your uh, feet nice and close, and then you're just focusing on moving your hips, and it's gonna really focus on loosening up that lower back. Squeeze your glutes together. Try it out. People look at me like I'm crazy, but it does wonders, man. That pelvic griddle, though. Oh. 
Okay guys, you will know anybody, I'm very passionate about warming up my rotator cuff, especially when I'm doing um, upper body workouts, like such as chest, arms, shoulders, back, anything like that. Even legs, because of low bar squatting, that's a lot of stress on your shoulders. Um, so I'm gonna actually link, instead of showing you all my favorite exercises, I'm gonna link in the top right, right here, our full tutorial on this. So I'll do it for about three to five minutes, a couple sets before every workout. On a side note, this is so, we're, we're filming mad videos today because we have the whole gym to ourselves. Usually there's people like in here doing this kind of crap. You'd be amazed, man. It's like... We try to keep that out of the camera. Yeah, we keep it out, but it's very distracting and it's very hard to stay focused when there's so much nonsense going on. But look at this, guys. Like, there is nobody here. But this has never happened. <laughs> this is a gym to ourselves, even upstairs. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and add one more that is necessary before I squat. This is probably my favorite thing. I'm just kicking my legs around, getting loose. Just kick up and down, kick to the side. Some of these. I don't know how good that filming is. I'm doing my best. We're changing the battery. All right, this is my favorite. If you have sore-ish glutes, this does amazing work. So just kind of cross his knee over. I'm trying to stretch it forward. I hold for about 20 seconds, but for the sake of your time, speed it up. That's a must after a workout. Aside from that, I've said I just go with conventions. It's probably one of my favorites here. Just to arch over, loosens up your whole torso, your lower back. That one's a killer. So just again, there's that. Those are probably my two staples. And then just touching your toes has also got to be a favorite. Those three are definitely my top three statics that I try to do after every workout. So basically for myself, I just do the conventional arm stuff, put them behind here, out front, and then I just do whatever else Josh does. Oh, that's a dog. Paramount, baby, let's go. We're back. So Paramount's sick because you get like unlimited bread. And then we'll probably get like another thing and just hummus. So you can easily crush like 300 carbs here if you have to. Uh, it's carb refeed day. We haven't had one in a while. We're just gonna do it big and then kill it. Hey guys, so Paramount, they don't actually have the nutritional info listed. It's really hard to like figure out how many calories is in each thing. So we're gonna walk you through how to exactly do that and like our process that we're gonna take to track it on MyFitnessPal. Hello. It's like a balloon. Thanks. Ta -ta. Dummy too. No cheese, just chicken, a little bit of oil, and bread. So we're still carb heavy and it's beauty. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Are you a gambling man? Hit it. Jump over this? Yeah. <laughs> this is impressive Russian roulette. Go again. No. <laughs> Three more jumps. Three more jumps? Yeah, then you're done. Okay, but wait, when I say go. Ready? Wait. Wait. It's never gonna stop. I have no idea about this timing. Like, I've never sat here and watched like how the water works, so. This is kind of gutty, stupid. I'm gonna try this at home. Right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, one more. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, everyone's laughing. I, I can't, I can't make, I can't make him go. Oh my, my abs hurt from laughing. You had a little uh, spill there, eh, pal? Sometimes it happens. <laughs> the song is actually sick. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. 
need my music to play. <laughs> First rep so bad, eh? The yeah. first mine was so ugly.